made it through to 2022 and that is a rhyme. <laughs> Unintentional. But anyway, we've made it through. Happy, happy new year, everybody that watches this video. I hope that how you entered into 2022 was fun, was safe, was great. And if you're having a hair of the dog day today, then wow, even better. Continue that celebration. To everybody watching this video, no matter what time, when you watch it, whether it is actually on New Year's Day or a few months down the line or even a few years down the line, I want to wish you a very, very happy 2022. If we are in 2024 when you watch this video, well, <laughs> wouldn't that be incredible? But anyway, Happy New Year, everybody. Traditions are everywhere this time of year. The holidays are filled with traditions. Everybody has their traditions. So I thought I would start 2022 with the tradition of Blooms For You, which has become a staple on my channel. It's not one of the most popular videos out there because I yap away and speak directly to people as if, you know, one-on-one -on -one to acknowledge and thank everybody that I can pick up out of the comments and that I can see out of the subscriber list and I add them to a list to then eventually get to the names and then dedicate blooms specifically for you. So that brings me to the thing. That is my tradition and it will continue to be a tradition for 2022 for as long as my orchids bloom and for as long as I do not run out of names on my list. I've already got a plan. Should I run out of names? I'm going to start again from the top. Long intro, I know, but hey, 365 days to go. Why not make it a proper welcome to 2022? Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel if you're here for the first time. Know that you are also very much appreciated. And for everybody that does watch this video and isn't named specifically in the blooms that are to follow, I try to find clusters of blooms. If I only have one bloom available, then we spread the cells of the bloom around so that everybody that is watching this video knows that this specific orchid right here is blooming for you to say thank you very, very much for being here, watching the video, supporting my channel. And if you are new to the channel and you've never commented before, then I would kindly ask you to leave a comment so that I know that you're here. Again, the plan being that eventually I will get a bloom for you specifically. This is Cousin It, and Cousin It is a Maxillaria variabilis. Cousin It is now into his fifth year in my collection. And he is blooming again and again and again from the nodes that grew over the season of 2021. Hundreds and hundreds of blooms. He is one of the best candidates that I have for blooms for you to dedicate them to everybody that watches this video. So Cousin It also, a very happy new year from him. He is, so to speak, a sidekick every once in a while and we have conversations be they good bad or indifferent but yes cousin it is absolutely incredible at the moment so let's go and have a look see as to which blooms have opened during the winter season of 21 22 <laughs> on the first day of 2022 and whose name has come up is there such a thing as fighting sunlight? <laughs> Not in my world. I embrace sunlight, but I do know that the blooms themselves don't give the exact feel of depth of color. Sunlight or white reflecting facade would wash out the colors of this beautiful Tolumnia pink brish. I just can't help myself because yes, I see what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, but oh, but to the naked eye, The sparkles, it's like pixie dust on these little petals and sepals here. The cutest ever, but before I get carried away with what I'm seeing, and I hope that you are enjoying, I would like to dedicate these blooms of Tolumnia Pink Brisht to Fish and Tank Ticks and Maria Zuro. I have been waiting for quite some time to film this spike for the two of you. And I was waiting for maybe one more bud to open. But in the meantime, I lost already three blooms. And you can see this one back here is looking a little bit sad. And as we get out of focus, because, you know, Tolumnias. And this one's already deteriorating. So that would be the third bloom that I've lost. And I don't want to lose the spike and not dedicate it. But it seems like Tolumnia Pink Brisht is one of those orchids where 
you don't get the full blooming of a spike all in one go, or maybe it's just me and my climate. So I'm going to move her into a bit of shade just so that the saturation of the color will be a little bit more authentic. Fish and Tank Ticks and Maria Zuru. Tolumnia Pink Brisht. Now, you've seen a Tolumnia Pink Brisht in my collection before. The spike was also dedicated. But I want to clarify one thing. My Tolumnias arrived mostly mislabeled. So suddenly a label that had a different name on it bloomed like a pink brisht with a label of pink brisht on it. And I think I have three of them around. I don't know. Once they bloom out, I'm making records to make sure that I don't make the same mistake. So this is a new spike. It's not a repeat. And you can see below the next spike on the same orchid is already forming and starting to bloom. No complaints here. That's why I say I have assorted tulumnias when I speak about my collection. I can never be 100% sure when it comes to what is blooming out. Anywho, I want to say thank you to the two of you very, very much for supporting me on my channel. Wishing you a very, very happy new year. I hope that you could welcome 2022 in safety and that if you're having a hair of a dog party, that there is everything there that you need to make it a good one. Happy New Year to you. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to 2022. Seeing you in the comments below. Tolumnia Pink Brisht, I would say 2.0. First spike and all the adage on that one. <laughs> Blooms for you, Fish and Tank Ticks and Maria Zuru. Ileana Valerio and Authentic Going Homemade. I am super comfortable to dedicate my Neo Stylus Lou Sneary's Blue Spike to the two of you, the blooms that have opened, including the one bud right up here. This year, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable about doing so, even though there are some little funky things still going on with some of the blooms, and I'll show you just now. But first of all, I want to say thank you, Ileana Valerio and Authentic Go and Homemade for your support here on my channel. My new stylist, Lou Sneary Blue, is definitely different, unique, but beautiful nonetheless. And despite her shortcomings, I am fighting for this orchid to get some sense of normalcy into her. And I think we are getting there because now, at the start of 2022, we have ourselves blooms that I feel comfortable dedicating. Her color is astounding. So different from anything I've ever seen. There's a hologram effect in here. It's just amazing. Now, let's get to the blooms. I'm going to keep this brief because I may do a second video just focusing on this orchid because that is one of the puzzle orchids I have in my collection. But I don't want to mislead anybody. We still have a deformed spike. And you can see that the petals and sepals here we're not exactly separating, so these ones are conjoined. This one is missing a little bit of the structure on the top. But all in all, there is a big improvement in what I am seeing in this orchid compared to other years. This one might not be quite perfect either, but the spike itself is now blooming out with more blooms, better separated from the spike, we still have the abnormality in the end of the spike created right here. But I didn't want to pass these blooms by because they are very, very special to me. Not only because of their color, but the hologram effect that they have. And the fragrance is absolutely beautiful. It's your typical Neo Stylus fragrance. Beautiful, rich in the lemon front and then notes of cream in the background. Just a marvelous, marvelous fragrance. That would do a great job in my indoor growth space if it wasn't for the catacetinae I have currently got blooming that are so overpowering. But out here, outdoors, standing close to her, I can really, really smell her. And I hope that you forgive me, even though the blooms are still not somewhat 100%. I just can't pass these by. I find them super, super special. This one is saying a personal hello, high five, with one petal up there. The spurs, however, are starting to look normal. 
So I couldn't pass this by, so forgive me if you think that this was inappropriate, but I think they are just elegant, gorgeous, and beautiful. And that's why Ileana Valerio and Authentic Going Homemade, I wanted to dedicate this spike to the two of you. And thank you for your support on my channel. But the orchid isn't done yet. There is another spike coming down here. Let me see, there we go, right down here. If that fan is a little bit too immature to bloom out, that's fine, it's to be expected. But all in all, this orchid is looking so much better. And yes, it is a piece from the mother plant, which I separated out into a different setup. But again, I'm getting carried away from the subject that I want to focus on is to say thank you as opposed to comparing blooms and what is going on. So I'm hoping that what I'm planning to do with a video on this one will work out because the mother plant is also in spike, but I would like to have the two of them in bloom at the same time so that we can do a comparison and an update on last year's video. Meanwhile, you see, here I go again. Yap, yap, yap. Ileana Valerio, authentic going home made. Happy new year. I hope everything is well in your part of the world. I hope that 2022 meets all your needs and expectations. Thank you so, so much for your support here on my channel. Happy holiday, happy new year also to G Memorabilia. Thank you for your support on my channel. I hope that you embrace 2022 with a vengeance and everything is well. You had a great entry into the new year. And to you, I also say thank you so much for your support on my channel. And of course, I wish you all the best for 2022 as well, that everything that you need to have happen in your life and in your families and loved ones' lives, that that will take place in 2022. Thank you so much, G Memorabilia, for your support here on my channel. All these months, I don't even dare say years, I'm not at a two year mark yet. So, <laughs> so all these months, G Memorabilia, thank you so very, very much. This is Rinkat Liantha Fushu Glory Happy Holiday. My second spike has got into bloom. And yes, you will see some imperfections up on the top sepals here. These blooms have only been open five days and I was waiting for the white and the yellow flaring to come out a little bit more predominant. And then I realized that, hmm, not only is this spike blooming quite late, I'm glad it has happened, but it is possible that the conditions are not perfect enough for the blooms to hold on long enough. And I did not want to miss the opportunity to dedicate them to someone, as in this case, G Memorabilia. And for that reason, to make up for any imperfections, I'm going to dedicate these two blooms to you because in their own right, they are gorgeous. And maybe the imperfections will get canceled out because there's two. They're also a little bit smaller than the other spike that bloomed before. And they've turned out when they opened up a little bit more chartreuse than the other ones as well. So I'm very, very interested to see how these have developed throughout the later part of the season. It can be that light is a factor when it comes to getting the exact flaring and the colorations on time. Not enough light and the bloom changes its characteristics to a degree. And also the cooler temperatures, of course, damaging the structure, depending on how the terrace door opens and lets some fresh air in, which might be a tad too cold for it. But I hope that you like these blooms. I want to say thank you, G Memorabilia, and I don't want to cut any corners, but my Fushu Glory Happy Holiday, these two blooms go to you to say thank you so, so very much for your support here on my channel. I really, really appreciate it, and all the best for 2022. For an orchid this funky and intricate, she sure is camera shy by the way that she presents herself. That is my doing because of where she lived while this spike was developing, forming and blooming out. This is Dendrobium nafert's Alex Poli. And I would like to dedicate this spike to Alex. Haha, <laughs> guess why? Alex Poli, get it, get it. And 
Jimmy Tierank. So the two of you, I hope that you don't mind sharing these blooms while I say thank you. I just couldn't help myself, Alex. I thought Nafert's Alex Poli, it's all in the name, you know. I had to wait for this spike. It just made sense to me. And I hope that you are into funky and gnarly looking orchid blooms. Thank you also to Jimmy Tierank so much for your support here on my channel. And if I'm thinking Tierank, Tier is animal in German. I thought that this made sense. These blooms have sort of an animalistic characteristic as well. Now, the spike is bending down a little bit more than normally because I had this orchid on the top shelf in my grow space, didn't move it around, so it bent towards the light. I just wanted to make sure that it blooms out without bud blast when I was shifting it around. Not too much spike training this time of year, doing the best I can to get my blooms to manifest themselves so that I can dedicate them. But I think this has worked out just fine for filming and to say thank you to Alex and Jimmy Tierang. If I can just elaborate a little bit on a fragrance that I'm getting here, um, if you don't like anything that has to do with uh, let's just say whatever goes on in the bathroom. And I'm not talking about the showering side of things. This year, this time of year, the fragrance I'm getting from this one is like a toilet stone. I'm going to date myself here now because I don't know how else to call it, but it's that blue thing that you get in like a plastic covering that you hang onto the rim of your toilet, your water closet or whatever. <laughs> And uh, yeah, supposedly keeps everything fresh, nice and clean when you flush. It's not exactly the best example I can give you, I admit. So I apologize if there are other examples out there on how to describe this fragrance. I could only pick up on this one the moment I put my nose in there and I thought, I know, I know. I remember the likes of you when I unwrapped something similar and hung it into my toilet bowl. And that is exactly the fragrance I am getting from this one. So the description not being very pleasant, but I hope you are understanding when I say it does have a fragrance. The fragrance as such is not unpleasant. It's how to describe it that makes it a little bit awkward. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Needless to say, Alex, Dendrobium Nafet Alex Poli, my first spike. You can see in the background, I've got another one coming. But the first spike goes to you, Alex, and Jimmy Tirang. I hope that you're doing well. Happy New Year. Thank you for your support here on my channel. You are so very much appreciated. Keep the comments coming. It always gives me great pleasure to see names pop up in my comment section. Sometimes I talk too much and why add to it? I appreciate already the time that you take to watch my videos, but every once in a while, a little wave or a high, it makes my day. So Dendrobium Neifert's Alex Poli blooms for Alex and Jimmy Tierang. Please continue to stay safe. And if you're having a hair of the dog day, I hope it's a good one. Haven't moved him around, won't move him around. Cousin It stays where he is right now. I got an earful while we were watching the video itself. He doesn't like the fact that his blooms are right by his nose. They tickle him. He doesn't like the fact that this leaf is blocking his view. He doesn't like the fact that this part is sticking out and that he can't use gel to calm it down and bring it down. So we have ourselves a diva every once in a while. Appearance to him is everything. And appearance on the viewfinder is what I mean, not just the grooming aspect. Appearance is everything in every sense of the word. Never mind. We're going to work with him as best as possible. And to be grumpy on New Year's Day, well, that only means one thing that he's had a rough night. Meanwhile, with all those blooms, he looks like his own little firework spectacle, so he's probably a little bit worn out by now. But needless to say, still here, and this is his living conditions until the sun rises high enough in the sky to meet him too early in the day. That's better, right? Was that hair tickling you? Okay. Never mind, we won't go down that road. Anyway, from Cousin It and myself, thank you very, very much for watching. Have yourselves a fabulous, excuse me, what's now? What, 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 what? An old leaf? Oh, jeez. I told you guys, appearance is everything. And yes, 
you're welcome. Have yourselves a beautiful day, everybody. Now I'm going to have to have a little bit of a closer look. I do want Cousin It to be in a good mood. I need those blooms for more videos in the future. <laughs> Much love to you. Happy New Year, everybody. On one condition, though, continue to stay safe, please, and take care. Bye.